Disgraced, twice impeached, and four times indicted former President Donald Trump has decided to forego the first Republican presidential debate scheduled for Wednesday, opting instead for an interview with ex-Fox News host Tucker Carlson, according to multiple insiders. In recent conversations with those close to him, Trump has been increasingly clear about his decision to avoid the debate stage next week. While the exact timing of the Carlson interview is still being worked out, it is anticipated to be broadcast around the same time as the debate. The New York Times was the first to reveal information about the Carlson interview. CNN had earlier reported that Trump's participation in the debate was unlikely, and that his campaign had been in talks with Carlson to arrange an interview as an alternative to the debate event. However, Trump's advisors have noted that the former president might change his mind at the last minute and decide to attend the debate. Both Trump and Carlson have had public and private disagreements with Fox News. Carlson left the network earlier this year after Fox News settled a significant defamation lawsuit with Dominion Voting Systems. Trump has hinted both privately and publicly at the possibility of skipping one or both of the initial two Republican presidential primary debates. Poor Donald Trump, the guy who wants to be president of the United States, the guy who says that he's the toughest person to lead this country, doesn't want to get up in front of Republican primary voters and defend his record and make a case for the future of America. Look, every Republican primary voter should have the opportunity to see uh, all those people who qualify up on the stage debating with each other. The second debate is set for September at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in California. The upcoming primary debate on Wednesday marks the beginning of the 2024 cycle. It will take place just over a week after Trump was indicted for the fourth time, this instance related to his attempts to reverse the 2020 election results in Georgia. The Fulton County Grand Jury returned a true bill of indictment, charging 19 individuals with violations of Georgia law arising from a criminal conspiracy to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election in this state. The indictment includes 41 felony counts and is 97 pages long. Please remember that everyone charged in this bill of indictment is presumed innocent. The indictment alleges that rather than abide, abide by Georgia's legal process for election challenges, the defendants engaged in a criminal racketeering enterprise to overturn Georgia's presidential election result. Subsequent to the indictment, as is the normal process in Georgia law, the, the grand jury issued arrest warrants for those who are charged. I am giving the defendants the opportunity to voluntarily surrender no later than noon on Friday, the 25th day of August, 2023. Talks between Trump's legal team and Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis regarding the specifics of his surrender are expected to continue into next week. Trump has until August 25th to surrender. Former President Donald Trump's refusal to participate in Wednesday's Republican debate could be attributed to several factors. First, the avoidance of tough questions might be a significant consideration. Participating in the debate could expose Trump to challenging and direct inquiries from fellow Republicans, potentially putting him in an uncomfortable position, politically, personally, and legally. Second, by opting for an interview with Tucker Carlson instead, Trump maintains control over the narrative, allowing him to present his views without the same level of scrutiny or challenge that a debate might entail. This setting will provide him a more favorable platform to convey his message. Finally, previous conflicts with individuals like Chris Christie could also play a role in his decision. There have been public disagreements and conflicts between Trump and Christie, and this might lend credence to the theory that Trump is avoiding a direct confrontation with him on the debate stage. These reasons combined may offer insight into Trump's strategic decision to skip the debate. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave us your comments below.